overtime, and Michael has the ball. Again, guarded by Sean Marion. The fadeaway. Yes! You want to master your fadeaway. The most important thing for you to understand is how to match the pictures of the best fadeaways in history. I need you to understand how important the balance kick is actually going to be, which is your ability during the fade to actually use your shooting side leg to actually square yourself to the basket. See, if I can capture that moment in time and really understand why someone's leg is extending in front of them, and I'm gonna be able to start to understand how to capture the technique required to have a great fadeaway. See, if you can't make your picture look like the best pictures, I would question whether or not you have the technique of the best. So right now, we need to understand how to capture our balance kick. Now, if you notice, when I'm doing my fadeaway, it's hard to get myself around. I gotta really twist my core. But if I can just simply swing my leg centered, it takes my shooting elbow with it. And that's the secret of the balance kick technique. Now in everything that we do, we don't only want to work on the technique, we want to hold ourselves accountable to doing it with great technique. We want to hold ourselves accountable to doing it well, doing it right, and doing it real. And so right now we're going to use our method of a box kick. And so what I want you to be able to do is really know that you know that you know that you're doing that technique well. See right now, if I can do a fade away, and as I fade away, if I can get my right foot to point to the box and at best touch the box, now I know that I've stabilized myself during the fadeaway. I know that my balance kick is where it needs to be, and I can actually hold myself accountable to that square position, falling away as a fadeaway would require. A lot of times when players are doing fadeaways, they'll simply jump and they'll land on two feet back. They don't have that backward lean in that angle. But by actually kicking that leg out in front, not only am I getting that technique, I'm hitting the box, now I'm gonna land on that back leg and allow myself to drift back. These are all common things that you would see with great fadeaway jumpers. The box kick, holding yourself accountable to hitting it each and every time, will help you master that technique and bring it into your game. And the final thing that that box kick is gonna help you with, it's gonna help you with overturning. See, a lot of times when people do fadeaways, they understand that they need to get that leg out, but that leg will just swing all the way to the other side, causing the elbow to swing with it. Well, if you can lock that leg straight out, straight down the middle of the box, that now controls and stabilizes your body so your fadeaway is squared and balanced all the way through. That's the power of a snapshot. So when you're working on this technique and really massing your fadeaway, whether or not off the drive or out of a post position, See if you can get your picture to match the best pictures. And one of the great ways you can do that is by using this method right here. If you take a snapshot of a player making a move, you can really dissect things. The position of the foot, the positions of the defensive player. You, know, you can break things down. If you're seeing a game move so quickly, a lot of times you can't, right? So with a still image, you can really pick things apart.